woo, <laughs> Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Ace of Cups, once again, is very much about emotional fulfillment. It can be a love offer, of course, but it also is like that cup is overflowing. Um, like this is a, someone who is so satisfied emotionally and that I think and it's also a new beginning right and the only reason I I don't know if it's to do with love I really want to pull a clarifier but I'm not going to because I know I need to pull another clarify later on <laughs> so I think this has to do with whatever this project remember I was just talking about um you being fulfilled with whatever you're starting this is a beginning a very emotionally fulfilling beginning we have the ten of wands which is a lot of work but followed by the nine of wands i that's just like awesome because yes it's a lot of work but you're not giving up you're standing your ground um you're a little bit tired well it's like you, because this comes after I'm, it's just really awesome that it doesn't go from the nine to the ten it goes from the ten to the nine where it's like you're taking on the work but you're not giving up uh you it's worth it to you like this project this and probably because it's emotionally filling if let's say you were just studying coding because you know there's tons of jobs out there with coding and it's and it's good money, and you can work from home, but you fucking, it bores the life out of you, I don't think learning coding, I think you would potentially give up, but if you loved it, and you would do it without anyone paying you for it, then you wouldn't give up, because you enjoy doing it, so that's what I'm getting from this top uh, general reading here. But moving into your love, I'm going to pull a card for sure. But guys, I just see when you see two strong male figures like this with the Ten of Pentacles in the middle, which is like a family life. You guys, I see uh, I see a little bit of competition. I see two established men that can envision a family uh, with you, but there's two of them. You, <laughs> unless you're into polygamy, and I guess the reverse of what traditional <laughs> polygamy is, um, I really am strongly getting a sense of competition here. I'm going to pull a clarifier because it doesn't have to be that. These could be two mentors. This could be you. These, this, these, both of these energies could be you. And I shouldn't put that past my, my, my intuition. Like, we saw that you are being strong, that you are working really hard on your projects, right? But honestly, I cannot look past the fact that there's two men sitting dead on. They both have something in their hand. They And then this Ten of Pentacles in the middle. So let's pull a clarifier. I'm going to gear it at the Ten of Pentacles in the middle. Well, anything in between these two men. Let's just see. But I don't want to take too long on this because I'm very interested in what's going on at the bottom of this reading in your life purpose i'm looking at it now but let me think about your love for a second clarifier what is happening for taurus in their love life with this emperor whoa it's a lot of cards and the king of swords <laughs> okay well we have the six of wands that jumped out to go right here in the middle on top of the ten of pentacles 
this is like if this was a career reading i'd be like damn you're being noticed you're making money you're strong but it's love <laughs> so whatever you're doing in your i think you're still very much being noticed um but in a much more romantic way and all i'm saying is you i'm gonna pull a romance angel card by dorian virtue while I finish this up, um, you, pretty sure, <laughs> have options, all right, in the month of April. Too good. Although, if you're looking for an emotional, uh, like, sensitive, passionate partner, <laughs> I don't really see that. I do see someone who's strong, confident. Um, wow. Who knows what he wants. They both seem to know what they want, and they both seem to want you. And they could find your work ethic uh, very endearing. I, I'm picturing if you've been applying to jobs, your boss, okay, wow, okay, so on the bottom of the deck, we have finances and career, um, which is funny, because I was just talking about that, the two cards that we got are honeymoon and codependent, codependency, I honestly am like, sorry guys, I'm just thinking, I'm just seeing what's coming, um, yeah, when I see Honeymoon and I see the Six of Rods on top of the Ten of Pentacles, obviously I'm just literally thinking that you could potentially be taking a trip. This guy is on a horse. That guy over here is on a boat. Um, Ten of Pentacles means you guys are fully capable of taking that trip. Um doesn't really tie into this whole competition aspect and then we have codependency so potentially you could be moving on from an Aries to um oh to I was going to say to an air sign but I just totally got a, another way of looking at this okay so you could be channeling this King of Swords energy. And, of course, if you're a female, like, you you could just be standing your ground. You could be walking away from a toxic or a codependent relationship um, because you are fully confident in the money in your job, you're being noticed, you're getting recognition, and you could be holding this King of Swords energy and being like, listen, I do not need you, even though you seem to be my provider, or like, you want, you want to be my provider, you're like, I don't need a provider, I can provide for myself, and either you're m moving away I don't know why I didn't see this before. Well, I guess, yeah, this really played into it. You could be moving away from somebody, an older figure who did take care of you, but p potentially could have a drug or alcohol problem, or you guys could just have a very toxic, codependent relationship, and you are standing your ground and using that masculine energy to say, no, I do not need you. I am fine on my own. Okay, so that's interesting. I would not have gotten that if this codependent and honeymoon card didn't come out. Um, so yeah, I see, a, I see a few different options there. I'm sorry it's a little confusing, although I know lots of you are watching, so it is what it is. And sorry, when at the bottom of the deck, again, is the Six of Swords, and if you guys want to just look at how closely these cards relate to each other, this is a card about moving on, but it's also a card about taking a trip, 
Look at those boats. Look at them on the water. Look at how we are seeing the back view of them approaching the horizon. So, trip, definitely. Uh, moving away, definitely. All right. Career. Oh, you guys are going to have a long reading, aren't you? I'm going to try to wrap it up, though. Let's get through career quickly. We've talked about it at the beginning already, and these cards, when they first came out, I was like, all right, not much more to explain because we've already talked about it. Seven of Pentacles means you've planted your seeds and you are, you're you waiting on them to flourish. Page of Swords is reminding me very much of that Seven of Swords energy that I was talking about. Um, how... You're not afraid to do what you want. You're not looking to please anyone. You are standing strong like this Page of Swords. And the Seven of Swords can also be a card of, like, cutting people out if you don't think you need them. And the my closest Taurus friend is um, a master at cutting people out. If you fuck her over, she's like, all right, like, I don't need you. Almost to the point where I'm like, dude, you maybe you should just give this person, like, uh, a chance to explain themselves. But she's like, no, like, I don't have time for that. So that is what I'm seeing. You're, you've planted your seeds. You're doing what it takes. Very similarly to the Seven of Swords, you, you're not too concerned about other people. And then with the High Priestess, you know that that is okay. And I don't know if you remember, I said earlier, the Queen of Cups reminds me of the minor arcana of the High Priestess. She came out, they both came out in uh, the, what I was describing as career reading at the beginning, and now she's here again in your career reading. So really just pay attention to your intuition, to what you want to do, which I already know you're doing because it's very obvious. And this is just a confirmation that you, what you think is going to be a good decision, what you feel is going to be a success for you, just listen to that, okay? So, <clears throat> in your life purpose path. This is where I'm a little tripped up. I'm not tripped up. I know what's I know what's happening. I just think you guys will be a little uh hesitant or worried to see these cards. So we have the 5 of cups, the 5 of pentacles and judgment. Okay? These two cards mm, Nobody, nobody really loves seeing them, but you just have to remember that you need to acknowledge this stuff in order to work on it for it to get better, for your, to, for your potential to be able to reach its peak. So the Five of Cups is a card about looking at what you don't have and not seeing what you do have. And the Five of Pentacles is a card of feeling left out in the cold, or financially unstable, okay? And if you are starting something new in your career or life purpose path, mostly career I'm seeing, um, you could definitely be second-guessing your decisions. You could be forgetting about this energy, this strong energy that you have even though this is in your love reading um and you could be like fuck I'm never gonna get to where I want to be like I have so far to go I don't have enough money I don't have enough resources you're looking at the things I don't have enough followers like I don't have enough clients you're looking at what you don't have but you're not looking at what you do have so just please Try to remember that if you're starting something new, of course you don't have it. You can't just get it overnight. And 
you have to be patient and that and this just ties very much in as well you might feel out in the cold you might be worried about your money like is money going to come in if i follow my passions remember this is your life purpose it can be scary to go after uh your your true calling because you it's hard to have faith to put everything your soul into something and just be patient and hope that it pays off, right? This is a card of very much being patient. So I just want you to remember, it's not going to happen overnight. You're going to feel discouraged. You're going to question yourself. But with judgment here, this is a card about uh, getting rid of the things that don't serve you. Um, it's a card of, like, fairness, eternal, like, very um, karmic, karmic justice, almost. And I really, truly feel that this is saying that if you do things the right way, like, you don't want to be super shady about the way that you go about things. If you go after things um, in a karmically balanced approach, you're going to receive that. You're going to receive the same karma back to you, okay? Usually, honestly, you guys, I get scared when I see this card, but because I know what you're doing, I think this is all very much internal, and I understand why. It's scary to start something new. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna pull one life purpose card for you on this on these five of cups. Mostly on the judgment card. Okay, so we have as your life purpose, we have family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. And obviously, I, well, the first thing that's coming to my mind is, like, you don't have to do this all on your own. Um, and you will probably feel much more supported if you do. Um, if you are feeling this way, reach out to your family. I know a lot of you probably have good, um, dependable relationships with a lot of people because that's just in your nature. Um, so yeah, you do have a lot of cards of independence, like the chariot, you have the nine of pentacles, and this king of swords, the high priestess, like the page of swords, the seven of swords, all very strong, like independent cards, but then you do have the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. And it's funny that I'm saying that, as I'm saying that, well, first of all, the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups again, which is that sense of emotional fulfillment, love, community. Um, but the card that fell out is Temperance. Okay? So you can, and it, I'm just saying it's funny because I was talking about how you have a lot of cards of independence, but you also have a lot of cards now of community, of family, of your tribe. And it would be very beneficial for you, I think, to balance the two in this process in order to not feel alone, not feel left out in the cold. Because if you, let's say you put your all into something and you, I know it will pay off. I'm not even going to say it won't because it will. And if it doesn't work out the way you expected, it will work out somehow. But if you put your all into something and you're feeling very insecure about it, who, what, like, I cannot see you hanging out with your friends or family not making you feel better about it. You don't even have to tell them about what you're doing, but just being surrounded by people that love you and care about you, I think will really help you get out of these. Pay attention to them, you know? Pay attention to what you do have, those relationships. This is emotions. Those relationships that you do have, okay? All right. 
that's it, you guys. I uh, am very tempted to pull one more card. I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not the longest reading I've ever done. You deserve it. You're doing a lot of things. I'm just pulling a flower therapy card. It's They're always very um, uplifting and inspiring. Okay. Got it. So the card on the bottom of the deck is stand by your commitment. You're strong enough to keep the promise that you've made. Don't back out now. Your angels believe in you. You see I'm holding up the nine of wands. Beside that, I know you're going to do it. Don't back out. Even if you're feeling this shitty uh, five of cups, five of pentacles energy, you're strong. You're going to do it. So that's on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what you got. Interesting. So the card that jumped out is open your third eye. It's safe for you to open your center of clairvoyance. By doing so, you'll see the truth. So your third eye chakra is an energy center that's located between your two physical eyes. Opening it allows you to access your gifts of clairvoyance, which is the ability to physically see. This is a wonderful experience. Start by focusing on an echinacea blossom or its image. Visualize a deep blue or purple energy flowing up into the space between your eyes. Breathe deeply and relax. Allow your angels and the echinacea to do their work. Be willing to let go of fears associated with seeing the truth. If you've been experiencing headaches lately, these may originate in your third eye. When the angels try to communicate with you, they interact with your clairvoyance. If your third eye is closed or blocked, it's like they're knocking on the door, waiting for you to open up. Ask your angels to please give their guidance in other, more comforting ways. Your recent experiences are from the angels. It's safe for you to be psychic. So that's interesting um, because we have the high priestess at the end of your career uh, reading. So please pay attention to your psych your psyche, your intuition, um, your third eye. I know it can be strange if you're not into that. Don't worry about it. Trust your gut, I would say. 